safe for the universe to just talk about the move and the challenges that you'll face in there? Well, it is an exciting uh, move. We're, uh, we're, we're thrilled to be a part of the uh, American Athletic Conference. Uh, Commissioner Resco has done a terrific job. Uh, we're excited about his uh, leadership. Uh, from our perspective, uh, it's going to be outstanding competition, uh, but the exposure is going to be tremendous. When you look at uh, uh, the ESPN, ABC, uh, CBS uh, for the basketball uh, coverage, uh, we're certainly thrilled about it. Uh, for our football, uh, the opportunity for the uh, BCS uh, uh, is uh, outstanding and very important uh, to our institution. And then, you know, just some terrific teams, uh, the defending national champion, uh, which is uh, really a, an old rivalry. When you look at uh, Louisville, you look at Cincinnati, you look at South Florida, uh, who we have played before uh, in, a, in a different league, and uh, it's going to be tremendous. Uh, with UConn and uh, Temple, and then continue to have a rivalry in state uh, with SMU. So it's going to be a lot of uh, great opportunities. We know it's going to be a, a challenge, but our players are excited, and uh, we're just thrilled and honored to be a part of it. Does this uh, obviously open up recruiting a little bit more because you have more exposure? Well, I think it's certainly a, a positive, and uh, we'll utilize it in a very uh, positive way. Uh, way but I think we've had a, a great draw here in recruiting when you look at uh, uh, our university's got a national name uh, what uh, Dr. Couture has done uh, academically with tier one all the building on campus getting students back on campus uh, we've had a philosophy of trying to keep players at home here but what's going to be so important here is the television exposure the opportunity to play uh, all our conference games on uh, television I certainly think will be a uh, really enhance our recruiting, I do. James, I can't remember, have you been part of a conference realign before uh, when you were? Yes, uh, I was part of the uh, Southwest Conference. We moved into the uh, Big 12 and uh, have gone, has, I have gone through that before. I mean, can you kind of, um, maybe it's too different, but what, what you had to do differently as a, as a coach or a team? Or we, need to, we need to win, <laughs> we need to win. That, that's the big thing. I mean, the level of competition is gonna be uh, uh, tremendous, and uh, so uh, you know we're going to have to uh, to elevate our players. Understand that, but we're we're excited about uh, the challenges. We're excited about the uh, opportunities because uh, everybody's going to be good, uh, and you're going to have an opportunity to this on a national stage. Have you seen that kind of level of excitement with your guys already? I know you got to bring them up to that level, but just they've got to be pretty fired it, up. It, it started uh, in in the postseason uh, in the tournament, and when we played. Uh, uh, Texas uh, last spring, I think, was certainly a, a positive for us. Uh, the fact that you know, all of them you know, watched the tournament throughout, watched uh, Louisville uh, win the uh, national championship and know that they're going to be uh, coming here. And I think another exciting part from the basketball perspective is uh, uh, we're going to play an 18-game schedule, so all the teams are coming here, uh, and, and I think that's a positive for our fans. Uh, obviously, uh, you go on the road, but uh, you get everybody here at home. You talk about the impact of, of you, know, you wish he was still here, but losing a guy like Joe um, and what, what he really meant to this team. Well, I think when you look back a uh, year before last, uh, we lost 40 points. Uh, we lost 16 rebounds. We lost uh, four players. Uh, when you look at Landis Harris, uh, Jonathan um, Simmons, uh, when you look at Kirk Van Slyke uh, and Darren Thibodeau, uh, and then we come back last year, uh, we have five more wins. We're in postseason. We turned the ball over a lot less. We rebound the ball better. Uh, so I think that was a, a huge positive uh, for us. And uh, you know we lost our two leading scores uh, and four productive players uh, that year. So you know we're, we're excited about the guys that we've got coming back. Uh, you got a guy like Tayshawn Thomas who was on the All Defensive Team, first team All Conference performer. Uh, you got Daniel House who was Freshman of the Year. You got some uh, very good returning players. Uh, some outstanding incoming players. So, uh, you know, we're thrilled with the group uh, that we have.